By now you've read about the standard normal curve um, and you've read some examples of when it's used. You also should know by now that these numbers down here on the bottom are the z-scores. It tells you how many standard deviations away from the mean. Zero, of course, would mean you are smack dab at the mean. Um, and so what you're going to do first is calculate three things. You're going to calculate the area under the curve of a certain region. You're going to calculate the probability of being greater than or less than a certain z-score. And you're going to calculate the percentile ranking. These three numbers, I will tell you, are the same thing. They represent the same thing. The only difference between the last one and the other two is a percent merely takes the decimal answer for area or probability and you convert the decimal into a percent. Uh, but how to calculate them is done the same, and we're going to do this on technology. So, this question could be worded in two ways. I've got a z-score of negative 1.56, so I'm going to estimate about where that is on the number line, negative 1.56. And so, if I want the area to the left of that, that would be this area that I'm outlining in yellow. Now, keep in mind, this curve technically goes on forever, but I can only draw it to a certain point. So I might calculate the area to the left of that z-score. Another way to word that is, what's the probability of having a z-score less? The, if it's pointing to the left, if the arrow is pointing to the left, that's less than, le, less than negative 1.56. The answer for both of these, area and probability, are the same. That can be kind of confusing, but they're done the same way. We're going to use technology. We're going to pull up the normal distribution. You already know how to find your distributions. You did this when you were doing Chapter 4, doing binomials, D-I-S-T-R. So you have a key on your calculator that says VARS. Above it is your distributions. Same place you went for your binomials, only you will see normal PDF, and you will see normal CDF. We will never use normal PDF. We will always use the cumulative because we're always looking at an area, not just a particular number. So what your calculator needs, once you have told it that you want to calculate a normal uh, probability from a normal distribution, it needs to know what's the leftmost point of that area or probability and what's the rightmost point. And for these problems in our calculator, you're going to use a z-score of negative 10,000, which is ridiculous for a z-score, but it's the biggest number we can put into our calculator that, you know, without having to do a ton of zeros. So if your area goes all the way to the left towards infinity, you're going to use negative 10,000 to represent negative infinity. You're going to use positive 10,000 to represent positive infinity. So if, if your area continues to the right, you're going to use 10,000. So if I want to know the area of this yellow region, or if I want to know the probability of having a z-score less than my one, negative 1 1.56 in your calculator, you're simply going to have it give it the two boundaries. So I'm interested in going from negative 10,000. This is important. Do not put the zero in the number 10,000. It will create an error. The comma is only meant to be put between the two numbers. So negative 10,000 is my leftmost region. So now I need to give my calculator where that area stops, and that stops at my z-score of negative 1.56. So that's my left, I mean my rightmost region boundary. Put your parentheses there. Close your parentheses, sorry. Hit enter, and your calculator will tell you that the area of that region, move that arrow out of the way, is 0 0.0, whoops. 0 0.0594 if you round to four decimal places. That's the area of that yellow region, or that's the probability of having a z-score less than negative 1.56. And if I go one more step further and I put what's the percentile ranking, move your decimal two places, and that would tell you if this was a standardized test, that student is in the 5.94%. That means almost 6% score below them, but that's it. Let's look at another example. So we have another standard normal curve. This time we have a positive z-score of 0 0.78. And what I've indicated here is I'm looking for the probability of somebody having a z-score 
greater than 0 0.78, which means I'm looking for the area of this region from 0 0.78 all the way up. Okay, and remember that goes all the way to infinity there. So I'm going to do my normal function, normal CDF. We always use CDF. You will never use PDF. This time, my leftmost boundary of that yellow area, the leftmost boundary is this z-score number right here, which is 0 0.78, and then I put a comma. My rightmost boundary, you tell where it stops. Remember, we're going to use the number 10,000 to represent positive infinity. And then we close our parentheses. That's going to give us the probability of falling somewhere in that region. So that, ew, I don't like having these mixed... There, that's better. So you're going to do that in your calculator. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like in the video. Just Okay, you're going to go to your distribution. So you're going to hit your second key and then pull up these distributions right here. We never do PDF. We always go down to normal CDF. Hit enter to select it. This problem, my leftmost boundary is 0 0.78. Then I put a comma. Oops, excuse me. Look, I did 0 .078. That's going to mess up, so i got to clear it out. Um, I'm just going to leave that in there. So I have to make sure I put 0 0.78 or 0 0.78. Then my comma. And then it's going all the way to the right, all the way to positive infinity. We use 10,000 to represent that. Do not put commas in the number 10,000. Close my parentheses and hit enter. So 0.2177 is my answer. That's the probability of having a z-score greater than 0.78 or that's the area to the right of 0.78 or if you move the decimal that's saying 21.77 percent of the population has a z-score greater than 0.78. So I'm just going to write that down um, because it might have been hard to see, I had that little splotch. So you had 21769, which rounds to 2177. So that's the answer to this question. Let's do one more. All right, the last type, we did one problem where we wanted the area to the left, one where we wanted the area to the right, or, or saying what's the probability of having a score less than or greater than. This is what's the probability of your z-score being between two values. So I've chosen the value a z-score of negative 2.2, and a z-score of positive 1.68. You're still using your technology and you're still using your boundaries. So you're going to go to your distributions. You pull up normal, always CDF. Your leftmost boundary is negative 2.2. Make sure you put the negative in there and then make sure you hit your comma. Your rightmost boundary is positive 1.68. Close your parentheses and you get 0.9 three, nine, six. So almost 94% of the population falls between those two values.